Man, you'd think with all the hiking I've been doing lately, I would be in better shape, but no, I am completely out of breath here. Um, I've been spending so much time with bighorn sheep lately, I thought I'd take a day to take a little bit of a break um, and go after some mountain goats instead. The uh, terrain is similar, but uh, this this terrain I might say is even a little bit more intense than the bighorn sheep stuff. Uh, let me kind of show you here. So these rocky cliffs, these, this area up here, this is, this is what the goats like. Um, they're safe from predators up here, so they kind of hole up here in the winter. I've got one that I spotted up here. And uh, I'm looking for some others. They're they're looking a little skittish today, so um, I'll kind of watch them for a little bit, kind of try to read them a little bit. I don't want to push them, um, but yeah, I'll see what I can find. Awesome area up here. Um, it's slow going because these uh, these rock bands that I'm walking on, some of them are just a couple feet wide and they're icy. So it's very slow going, but it's worth it. I mean, you slip here and you're falling hundreds, if not a thousand feet. Um, I don't want that to happen, so I will take it slow and I will be safe. Well, I found the goats I was looking for. Um, sorry for the blown out white background. I'm sitting on a snowy mountainside right now. So um, anyways, I found the goats I was looking for. They're just up here in these rocks. Um, it's quite the trek to get up here. It took me a couple hours, um, but I made it and uh, I'm just watching these goats from a little bit farther of a distance. It's funny because in the summer, these goats, they're extremely tolerant. They'll come right up to you almost uh, within just a few feet. But in the winter time, you get them in these cliffs for some reason. And if they even just see you sometimes, um, they'll just 
kind of move off. They, they don't like people up here in these cliffs for some reason. Uh, at least every time I've come up here. Um, it's, it's kind of curious. I, I don't know why they do that. But, uh, yeah, at least I found them. They're just kind of relaxing a little ways off right now. So I'm trying to get what video and pictures I can from a little bit further distance. Uh, it's a good opportunity, instead of just focusing on close-up portrait stuff, uh, good opportunity to get some more, um, like, wildscape stuff where you can get uh, wildlife and landscape all in one. So, um, just doing what I can right now with what I've got to work with, and, um, yeah, I'll spend a couple hours up here, see if I can, um, see what I can get, see if these goats come a little closer, and then I'll have to start heading back down already. But uh, yeah, just enjoying my time on the mountain. Well, I'm calling it a day. Um, it's getting late, it's getting cold, and uh, I still have to hike back down this mountain. So um, I'm headed back now. Better pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, headed back down now, and uh, yeah, should get should get down around. Uh, sunset or just after but uh yeah I had a great time with the uh, goats I was coming back from watching that one group um, and I came around the corner on one of these little rock bands and there was one sitting right there um, so I got some pictures really quick I feel bad because I spooked him um, so I got a couple pictures and then he just kind of moseyed off and uh, Went and joined some others in the in the rocks above, but uh, I, I try not to do that. I I really don't like pushing the animals, but uh, you know I, I I didn't know he was there. If if I had, I would have gone a different way. But uh, yeah, I had a great time with these goats today. A lot of fun. Um, the main thing with these goats and and any wildlife, and I I try to you know, talk about this when I can, but um, the animal always comes first with these goats. You know, they're up here in these cliffs to escape predators, and I don't know why they uh, see people as predators in the winter. I I'm assuming that's why they're a little more skittish, whereas in the summertime they just don't care. But, uh, you know, the animal comes first, so if I ever feel like I'm pushing them or they're uncomfortable, I'm going to back off. I, I don't care about my picture at that point. Um, I can get a picture a different time. I, I, I just don't want to stress the animals out. Um, so that, that's my main priority up here with these goats or with any animal really is, you know, the animal comes first. and. Um, if they're comfortable, they'll approach you, and uh, you can get your picture then. Or, um, a lot of times, you know, that's why I hide from animals w with camouflage or in a blind or something, just so they don't know I'm there, and so they can still be comfortable and I can get my picture as well. But, uh, yeah, great time with these guys. I've actually got a group of three right now, I'm looking at them right now, um, and they're coming closer to me. Let me see if I can show you. They are up here. Okay. They're right there. There's three of them. I don't know if you can see them. But, uh, see, it's stuff like that. Um, you respect them, and the animals can read stuff like that, and they'll, a lot of times, they'll come in closer, and these ones are coming you know, pretty close, so I'm gonna actually get some pictures now, and then I'm gonna hike down and uh, we'll finish the day off. But yeah, great trip, and uh, we'll see you next time.